that went down like a lead balloon. Here he comes now, the flash bastard. Out of interest, how many first-class composers do your lot have in heaven? Because Mozart's one of ours. Beethoven, uh, Schubert, uh, all of the Bachs. They have already written their music. And you'll never hear it again. No more Albert Hall, no more Glyndebourne. Just celestial harmonies. Give me a jug of whatever you think is drinkable. Jug of Hearst Brown, two sisters. Crawley, Crowley. Well, fancy running into you here. Still a demon, then? What kind of stupid question is that? Still a demon? What else am I going to be? An aardvark? table round. I'm here to speak to the Black Knight. Oh, right. Um, hello. Uh, I, I, I was hoping to, to meet with the Black Knight. You have sought the Black Knight, foolish one. But you have found your death. Is that you under there, Crawley? Crawley. What the hell are you playing at? It's all right, lad. I know him. He's all right. I'm here spreading ferment. Is that some kind of porridge? No, I'm, you know, fermenting dissent and discord. King Arthur's been spreading too much peace and tranquility in the land, so I'm here, you know, fermenting. This isn't one of Shakespeare's gloomy ones, is it? Oh, no wonder nobody's it's here. It's here. Pretty gentles, um, might I request a small favour? Uh, could you, in your role as the audience, give us more to work with? You mean like when the ghost of his father came on and I said, he's behind you? Just so. That was jolly helpful. Made everyone on stage feel appreciated. A bit more of that. Uh, good, uh, Master Burbage, please. Speak the lines trippingly. I am wasting my time up here. No! No, you're very good. I love all the talking. And what does your friend think? Oh, he's not my friend. We've never met before. We don't know each other. I think you should get on with the play. Well, I suppose I should say thank you for the uh, rescue. Don't say that. If my people here I rescued an angel, I'll be the one in trouble, and my lot do not send rude notes. Well, anyway, I'm very grateful. What about if I buy you lunch? Looking on that. No, I've been thinking. What if it all goes wrong? We have a lot in common, you and me. I don't know. We may have both started off as angels, but you are fallen. I didn't really fall. I just, you know, sauntered vaguely downwards. I need a favor. We already have the agreement, Crowley. Stay out of each other's way. Lend a hand when needed. This is something else. For if it all goes pear-shaped. I like pears. If it all goes wrong, I want insurance. What? I wrote it down. Walls have ears. Well, not walls, trees have ears. Ducks have ears. Do ducks have ears? Sorry, consecrated ground. Oh, it's like being a bitch in bare feet. What are you doing here? Stopping you getting into trouble. I should have known, of course. These people are working for you. No, they're a bunch of the half-witted Nazi spies running around London blackmailing and murdering people. I just didn't want to see you embarrassed. Mr. Anthony J. Crowley, your fame precedes you. Anthony? You don't like it? No, no, I didn't say that. I mean, I'll get used to it. The famous Mr. Crowley. That's such a pity you must both die. What does the J stand for? Uh, it's just a J, really. Look at that! All font full of holy water. Doesn't even have God! So, Spike, you're the muscles, you'll be hauling on the ropes. 
And she'll be going down on the ropes then. Hold on. Who are you? I understand you need a locksman. I was expecting Mr. Narco. Well, Mr. Narco has passed on to his reward. I've taken over the business. He was my cellmate. He taught me everything he knew. My name's Shadwell. Please. Sit down, Mr. Shadwell. Lance Corporal. Shadwell. If you don't mind. So what's so valuable that they're going to leave it in a church at night? We'll go over the details of what you're obtaining for me when we get there. You will all be very well compensated. Ask how many demons can dance on the head of a pin. They're of the same original stock, after all. And at least demons dance. Not what you call good dancing, though. For demons or for angels, size and shape are simply options. So if you look from really close up, the only problem about dancing on the head of a pin is all those big gaps between electrons. I don't suppose that anywhere in the nine circles of hell there's such a thing as a rubber duck. No? So, thanks to three computer hacks, Selective bribery, and me moving some markers across the field one night. The M25 London Orbital Motorway, which was supposed to look like this, will, when it opens in 1986, actually look like this, and represent the dread sigil Odegra in the language of the dark priesthood of ancient Mu. Odegra means, hail the great beast, devourer of worlds. Can I hear a wahoo? <laughs>